Right, good morning, year two, and welcome to your spelling lesson for this Friday, our final day of videos. Isn't that exciting? Right, so we are recapping the suffixes E, D, E, R, and E, S, T when they come after a Y, just like we did yesterday with L, Y. We're looking at E, D, E, R, and E, S, T. Okay, so well, it's all about that change it or keep it. Are we changing? the Y for an I, or are we just putting in our normal suffix? So for example, cry, we need to change it to cried, play to played, stays the same, but then carry to carried, we change it, okay? So it's, it's the same for when we did LY. When there is a vowel before the Y, we keep the Y. So play, We've got an A before the Y, so we keep that Y. But here, it's a consonant, cry and carry, so we do need to change it, okay? So if there's a vowel before the Y, we keep it. If there's a consonant before the Y, we change it. More examples here. So dry, that's a consonant, so we change it. But gray, that's a vowel, so it's A, E, I, O, and U. So the E before the Y means we keep it. And then silly, it's a consonant, it's an L. So we need to change it. So if there's a consonant before the Y, change it. If there's a vowel before the Y, keep it. So we've got here all ones that had to be changed apart from <clears throat> stayed. Why is stayed different to the other five? All these had to change the Y to an I, but this one stayed as Y. Why? Why did that happen? Okay, we can see, and hopefully you said this, that before the Y is an A. Okay, so that means it's a vowel. So we have to keep that Y. Whereas here we've got R, R, S, P, and K, which are all consonants. None of them are vowels. So we have to change it. <clears throat> okay, have a go. So we've got cried, stayed, dried, and married. Which ones do you need to change? Which ones do you need to keep? Which ones have a vowel? Which ones have a consonant? Okay, so the only one that you should have kept the Y for was stayed. All the others, cried, dried, and married, all have an R before the Y, which is a consonant. So we should have changed the Y to an I. What about funnier, bumpier, messier, messiest, and emptiest? Have we got it right in them? Which ones do we need to change? Which ones do we need to keep? Look at the letter before the Y. Is it a vowel? Is it a consonant? Okay, well done if you said they all need to be changed because N, P, S, and T are all consonants. So funnier, you need the I. Funpia, you need the I. Okay, they all need that I. Next one, stamped, replied, Rumpier and sweetest. Okay, we go. Which ones do we need to change? Which ones do we need to keep? Okay, there are a couple of sneaky ones in there because stamp and sweet, neither of them end in Y. So it doesn't matter. We, we just keep it the same. So we just add ED, we just add EST. There's no Y or I need to be involved in stamp, stamped or sweetest, okay? But then reply and grumpy, they do end in Y, and the letter before them are consonants, so they both need to change to an I. So replied should have an I, and grumpier should have an I. Okay, and here's words that would need an I, and words that don't, that you keep the same, okay? So, you know what to do. Five sentences, five brilliant, perfect, amazing sentences. Good luck. I'll see you all later.